Hello friends, welcome to Dots of Destiny. Today's topic is retrograde Jupiter in your natal horoscope. The retrogression of Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, Venus is quite talked about because these planets, they behave in a different sort of way when they go retrograde. The properties of the planets are quite different from the normal progression of the planet. Now, Jupiter retrograde says that certain faith, teachers, religions and, uh, you know, your deeds needs some rectification. First and foremost is that because as uh, by now we all know that retrogression means redoing things. So Jupiter, the Karaka Tattva of Jupiter, the things that Jupiter uh, relates to, uh, the ninth house and the twelfth house, that is the dharma, the father, the religion, the, uh, the guru, the higher spiritual knowledge, all these things needs to be some kind of faltering in these parts of life have had happened uh, in previous lifetimes and that is why it needs a recheck redoing from our end. Jupiter retrograde is not, don't categorize please uh, the planet into a good and bad category. Slowly I'll be explaining there are a lot of points that uh, I feel I should elaborate in this video. Uh, first and first point is this that I said that it needs some kind of rectification may in the uh, dharma faith area religion area your gurus your mentors your believing in things and your spirituality why it is like that because um, maybe you question too much your teachers if you have that kind of kind of a quality you will see a person having a jupiter direct will go by the norms of the society the person with a jupiter retrograde is a little uh, you know rebellious in its approach towards these areas of jupiter and that is why they visit those areas again because some kind of uh, mistakes or maybe disputes or maybe not having faith or questioning the guru or some kind of insult may have had happened and definitely some kind of these issues have had happened that's why this Jupiter becomes retrograde in your horoscope. Now, because it is not a normal Jupiter, the second point is that the uh, houses which Jupiter has Karakatatva of will have something different. It is not, uh, don't categorize everything, even I do not do good and bad. It is like something, uh, always things are not, 70% of people may have a life in the society which is uh, driven by how the society goes. Uh, 30 person does not go with those norms and Jupiter retrograde is that kind of a thing. See, it is also because these Jupiter retrograde people are quite reformative thinking they have questioning attitude they have you know critical in the sense that they will ask their teacher they will try to judge them they will try to judge all the qualities whether marriage whether child or whatever and so these areas of life of these people will be different in some way or the other it's not good and bad but it is a different thing that Jupiter retrograde gives and the features are very very prominent now, see the second house, Jupiter has the Karakatattva of the second house. Uh, the family, maybe some your family has some different kind of attitude, some belief system, monetary, some different kind of things. I'll come into the housewise Jupiter retrogression later. Fourth house, uh, your uh, see Jupiter gets exalted in the fourth house. So the the treatment from the mother, the motherland, the relation with the motherland, uh, some kind of difference will creep in over there also. Fifth house is a house of intelligence and children, and Jupiter has the karkatatva of it. So these areas are also a little hutke, and then comes the ninth house, obviously these people don't uh, believe in a thing just in your uh, you know if you state a thing that this is this and follow this they will not do it in that way 
because their nature is questioning the thing asking the thing and that is why many reformers many higher people thinking in a different way out of the box they they will definitely have jupiter retrograde in their horoscope if you find there are many big shots having jupiter retrograde uh, 11th house is prophets and elder siblings so this is also uh, having the uh, the effect of jupiter retrograde so all these areas in some form or the other will have some different kind of flavor now whether it is good and bad you get it late you get it in a delayed way you have to rectify you put in more effort because as we all know that retrograde planets are cheshta valim so that is the third point that <coughs> cheshta bali means uh, these people uh, will again and again do that forcefully or the planet will make you do uh, simply if you see uh, in the transit also when jupiter gets retrograde or saturn gets retrograde certain activities are repeated and rectified that is very important jupiter is a rectification saturn is like a karma karak who wants you to do the karma jupiter wants you to rectify the things and that is very important for uh, jupiter going retrograde in a horoscope now uh, the next thing is uh, they, these people uh, they will have to go for a second chance in everything they will be given some kind of in this lifetime also whether it is related to the teachers they come across whether their faith whether even their father because see ninth house is also primarily the house of father so uh, these uh, relationships and jupiter is also the glue of the marriage the, uh, and obviously your children is also represented by jupiter so see there are five things already so jupiter has the ownership of lot of things right so when it is retrograde all these areas will um, again and again go through some kind of rectified process suppose you don't believe your teacher or do, you don't believe the uh, you question the credibility of the teacher so in this lifetime you will see that you will come across and you will slowly situations which will make you understand that you have to have faith Uh, and that faith will be restored in you that will happen marriage suppose uh, obviously i have seen so many times jupiter retrograde and marriage because jupiter is very important in marriage it is the glue of the marriage uh, first and foremost it is a little different than the other people's marriage because uh, either it will happen very fast or it will happen late and um, some kind of issues are there maybe the the criteria for the marriage is too much or the person is looking for a different kind of marriage some reformative thing is in there he is just not going by the normal people how like i want to marry i go and marry but they are looking for something different so this is very much over there and their thinking process is also very optimistic in that way they they think and they want to get it usually they get it also you know jupiter direct is not as optimistic as, as jupiter retrograde and they have this quality in them uh, they they are quite confident they are quite rebellious they they are quite reformative they will question everything they will want a um, different taste to the uh, things of the mm, normal jupiter things they will not usually uh, and abide by the social norms or the social things that is prevalent what i say is that when jupiter is normal in a horoscope you see a person will have a degree by 21 22 his education will be over they will be okay happy with their uh, education teachers they have come across their father and then by 25 they get married they have uh, kids by 27 28 then they start their journey of life and whatever is said to them they follow um, they are not disobedient if i can put it in that way if other rahu ketu some extra factors of mars is not very violent in the horoscope they will 
be uh, uh, they will not have their parents will or they themselves will not create hassles but jupiter retrograde very different from all of this suddenly uh, the, these people will always have some kind of uh, rebellious nature that this is not right this the dogmas they don't go by the rule books and uh, all these things create a path um, hindrance and breaking attitude also because unless you question a thing you cannot break the thing also uh, that is that is why it is uh, very important in reformers horoscope i think mahatma gandhi has a jupiter retrograde um, narendra modi has mark zuckerberg facebook founder has uh, mukesh ambani has a jupiter retrograde um, all these people all these people have jupiter retrogrades in their horoscope and you will see quite quite different uh, these people are sachin tendulkar i think has a jupiter retrograde uh, find out and just comment below if you if uh, these are the people as far as i can remember okay now another thing about jupiter retrograde is that uh, how much it is retrograde in your horoscope which is very much important now it is vakri or ati vakri now see this year jupiter is in taurus and it is not moving into any other sign other than taurus means what it is getting retrograde also in taurus only and it is not moving out of the sign now if you have that kind of a jupiter then it is a little easier because the planet uh, the the motion of the planet is within a sign now if you have ati vakri that is going into a different sign the jupiter suppose next year only it will happen it will enter gemini it will go to cancer come back to gemini which happens quite a lot so then at which degree your vakratva of jupiter is that is also very important to determine uh, how you are behaving because it is uh, it has crossed a sign but it has to come back to the it is it is in suppose it is in leo and it wants to come back to cancer or it is in the process of coming back to cancer so that is ati vakri then these two um, will give results actually uh, both the houses will have some results to give that is also ati vakri jupiter so here determining the properties of the planet and what it wants and what it wants to put forth is a little difficult to understand and has to be checked and rechecked in the divisional charts also what is the purpose of this jupiter and what is the uh, you know sign it is more uh, giving results for so this is also there now if your lagna lord or your moon lord is jupiter and you have a retrograde jupiter then the whole life is quite a flat, you know going back and forth it's quite difficult that i must say because if the lagna lord or moon lord is itself retrograde uh, it is not easy to that you know the repetitive action because if you have a planet uh, and uh, suppose you are a cancer lagna then you have the jupiter retrograde means your 6th house and 9th house is going uh, due, due to some effects of jupiter retrogression and dasha mahadasha antardasha or yeah overall horoscope will also give some flavors of retrogression will be there 100% whether you run a dash or not irrelevant it will give some results uh, but it is concentrated to the two houses and also where jupiter is uh, posited in your natal chart but if this is your lagna lord for the pisces sagittarius ascendant or a moon lord then uh, the whole mind process it's quite difficult at this point i can say that this retrogression can create lot of hindrances boundaries looking back you know you have to rectify go through remedies understand and don't uh, i have seen these people whose lagna lord or moon lord is retrograde they always have certain kind of guilt feelings also uh, and you should not be in the guilt of whatever uh, things uh, inside you that is a little bit having a different taste of the jupiter don't get guilty don't you there's no need of uh, validation sometimes these people need other people should come and tell me that yes this is validated it's not needed it is a redo thing take it in that way understanding that yes some kind of distorted nature of the planet is there in your horoscope you go through rectifying uh, the planet you do the because jupiter two things works very good for jupiter 
and it's my personal experience is that uh, if you do daan to the uh, guru any kind of teacher guru priest whatever and also daan in general because see pisces you will see the sign of pisces is two fishes they are uh, coming around to their tails right so what you give whatever philanthropy in whatever manner you do it comes back to you this is a very good uh, uh, way of rectifying specially your retrograde jupiter i feel the dan that we give uh, not considering it that and don't uh, while giving not uh, thinking that we are great doing it these comes back in manifold and the universe is like that it's like a boomerang it gives us back and when it gives us back at the moment we need it the most so that is why nothing goes to waste that is why the pisces has two fishes running towards each other at the tail it is like that so uh, these are the uh, they, these are certain qualities of retrograde jupiter now the uh, sign placement of jupiter and its retrogression is also very very important uh, if you have an exalted jupiter in cancer and it's retrograde and uh, many many um, people do come across this question and they ask me also whether it is bad or whether it is too good now see it's a um, in both way it can be if it is something is written in the text means we have to go by it but in different situations it is different what i have seen is that when jupiter is direct in cancer it is a easier horoscope to fathom and see what is happening with jupiter and its uh, properties but when it is retrograde obviously some kind of madness will be there if i can call it madness because some kind of accident act Uh, see it is it will because it is having the chesta bali you no know, that is the property which makes a retrograde planet more uh, powerful to give the result so that will make you do what it wants you to make uh, you know that is the property of a retrograde planet it's accentuated the properties are in a different way accentuated and you have to go through these karmas especially if you are running a jupiter mahadasha antardasha now see if you have a retrograde jupiter you will see that the if you are if you are running a dasha also you have started a dasha or you had uh, come across a jupiter mahadasha and the first two and a half years of jupiter antardasha you write down in the comments that will not be a good phase at all i don't feel it will be you write down if you uh, in the comments and let me know because this is what i have seen the first two and a half years of jupiter retrograde jupiter mahadasha antardasha will not be good then the other planets will come in like it will be saturn then mercury all these antardashas will uh, kick in then it is a different story but uh, that is how jupiter retrograde as you'll feel you'll bogged up with so many things in that uh, certain phase of jupiter antardasha sudden things can well happen if you, especially if your jupiter retrograde is in the third house eighth house uh, these places sixth house eleventh house sudden uh, sorry twelfth house sudden incidents can well happen in the situation or placement of jupiter in these areas jupiter um is like um, see it's a it's the amrit you know it's a, it's a very blissful planet in the horoscope you will realize ask somebody if you know somebody who has a good jupiter you know they are satisfied person and they will say yeah i am satiated with what i have got and it gives me immense pleasure you know when they have run a very good uh, direct jupiter mahadasha and mahadasha especially uh, jupiter retrograde does not get that feeling that is another problem with jupiter getting retrograde they will always shoot for more things and it does not mean that you will not have wealth because second and 11th house is very much under the control of the uh, jupiter planet it it does it is the house uh, karakatatva of the planet is there for jupiter but here how much wealth you have it seems as if it ca it can go for more so there the 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 situation is such that uh, satisfaction is very difficult when jupiter is retrograde satisfaction from marriage satisfaction from children from wealth 
all these becomes a big problem. Uh, one has to resort to meditation, uh, philanthropy and it is not a one day affair. That is the most important thing that I wanted to say. Because uh, any planet who goes through a rectification process will teach you slowly. You cannot expect uh, the remedies cannot be done in two months, three months or in a week's time. If it could have been, it would have been good for all of us. But it's past life karma and has to be dealt with in that way. Everything has a timing. Timing is uh, the subject of astrology is about timing. Before that, nothing will happen. So that is one thing. Okay, uh, so these are uh, this. This is what I have seen about uh, Jupiter. Now, see, if Jupiter is debilitated, this is also a very important topic of Jupiter debilitation. Uh, Jupiter debilitation will give you again, like retrograde, certain. Um, not that they do, they are not good in studies. No, no, it's not like that. They have many people I've seen. They have good. Uh, they have Jupiter retrograde, but they have done very well in their academics. And but maybe the satisfaction is not there. Uh, that's why again I wanted to stress on that Jupiter retrograde and debilitation. There the satisfaction level can be a little less. So that is there. And uh, in debilitation, you will not get the proper kind of people or guru coming into your life. Uh, that is also very much possible in debilitated Jupiter. And the work area, because see Capricorn is a sign we see for work. Uh, for uh, We always see that sign. Saturn, Capricorn, Dashmansh we see for work. Now, when Jupiter comes in Capricorn, Jupiter is stressed out over there. That is the first important thing which I notice because it exults in the fourth house. It, it needs a lot of time. It is not in a hurry to learn uh, things because it's a spiritual planet. And Saturn is pressure cooker. I call it in that way because Capricorn sign is that. It is the it is a makar. Makar sign is about dealing with pressure, handling pressure, what a guru has to do over there. The planet is so, so misplaced it, if it is in uh, Capricorn and Aquarius, both. Both I feel Jupiter does not work. I, uh, please write in the comments if you feel also that way because even I need to know and I must understand what the, you know, that's why this medium of YouTube, how much people write, uh, you know, negativity, I, it doesn't affect me. I don't go by negativity. They are, they are making their own mercury bad. Many people write uh, comments like that, but the, you, are, you are spoiling your own mercury. Who has to do anything with that? It does not affect me. So write in the comments if I'm wrong or right. And do, if you have a Jupiter in Capricorn or Aquarius and you felt that it is not giving the desired result, because I must also learn from people. Every day is a learning experience with this subject. And uh, the, this, these are the two things. And now if, if debilitated and retrograde. Now here is a question. Now debilitated retrograde, does it make the Jupiter positive? N no, not exactly. But see, when Cheshtabal is good in the planet, what happens, you'll see retrograde planets, they can repeat things. It makes you repeat things. So you are now not content with the debilitation of the planet. A normal Jupiter debilitation will accept and they will let the things be like that. And they are dissatisfied. So be it. What can what can be done about it? But Cheshtabali, when it is debilitated and it is retrograde, they will add on, uh, you know, making rectifications in that area and trying in whatever way possible. They will try to make that uh, a little better. So it gives a better chance for, I feel, a debilitated retrograde planet to work in certain ways. It will take you to the lowest. If it's a dasha of that, you will see lowest of things. But then you can escalate to higher, uh, you know, things from uh, from the bottom. You will come down in that way. So debilitation will have its effect, definitely. But debilitated planets, again, gives a lot of money also. That is also there. So these are the basic points that I wanted to say about Jupiter retrograde. Now let me share a little bit of my experience with Jupiter in retrograde in different houses. Now in the first house Jupiter retrograde is not as bad. Yes, the 
uh, it is always a looking back affair for the person and uh, understanding one point that Jupiter and Saturn works uh, in exactly opposite signs well. Jupiter works well with um, all the watery sign like Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Saturn works well with the earthy sign and the airy sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and Virgo, uh, Capricorn and uh, Taurus. These are better for Saturn. So here if Jupiter as I told you if it is in the, uh, the first six signs of watery and fiery, uh, these persons they have they will have some turmoil, they will have some knowing, some rectifications, but better they will learn with age and uh, better late than never that attitude is seen and they once that realization comes from that it is a betterment of Jupiter happens, but not denying the fact it will not give you setbacks because when a, a planet as big as Jupiter, Saturn or whatever is sitting, Rahu Ketu sitting on the Lagna, it is controlling something has happened, has something has gone with the lagna rising that that the Jupiter has come here for rectification and any kind of rectification Jupiter retrograde being in the first house cannot be very easy rectifications come with time but it's that's why I say it's later uh, but it will come definitely and once in the path they will never look back and they will follow a better life from there onwards second house retrograde Jupiter is um, this is not a bad arrangement they will be uh, they are pure mostly pure people and if the sign is good again the sign should be always kept in mind it is a good arrangement they will have some ethical things they will love always family will be foremost for them monetary things is uh, Jupiter when it sits in the second house in watery sign or uh, 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 fiery sign Money will be good. It's not, I'm, I cannot say it's an extraordinary, uh, if if some malefic sees that, then it, it can be. But they are good with money. They know how to save. They know family values, family ethics, and their face can be glowing. All these things can be there. It is a nice uh, it is a nice arrangement. Huh, obviously, uh, retrogression will make that thing question faith, beliefs and all. And whenever you see that, um, see one thing, another thing I have noticed is that when Jupiter is retrograde, the ninth house will also have some affliction, some faith and some problem is seen with the ninth house also. Third house Jupiter is a Marankarak sthana of Jupiter. It's not good actually. It creates a lot of hindrances with first and foremost with siblings it will come. Uh, they will not go well. Some kind of peculiarity with the sibling and the uh, residing area where they stay can happen. Uh, they can be good in extracurricular activities like dance, drama, this, all these things can be good, especially if it is in a Venusian sign. But the other factors are quite marred because uh, third is not the... It's a Gemini, right? Gemini sign, Jupiter, Gemini is uh, can learn new things very fast. Uh, but um, the the effect of Jupiter is not exactly wanted over here. It is quite not the place for Jupiter uh, with uh, because Jupiter and uh, Mercury, Mercury, Gemini is a very inquisitive sign of Mercury. A guru should be in a content way. They it's not about inquisitiveness as far as Jupiter is concerned. The third. It will mar certain things but if it is in a watery and fiery sign it will be better. If it is exalted also it will be better with time because it is a retrograde Jupiter. But if it is in the earthy sign or in the airy sign I do not think it works well. I have not seen. Uh, let me know that in the comments. 4th house Jupiter retrograde, they will have strong feelings for the mother, the homeland, the property, the car and some very, uh, very rigid feeling they will have. They are quite attached to these things and uh, it's not a bad arrangement but uh, uh, in the initial ages of life, he may not get the very expansive thing about Jupiter, but slowly they will get it and they will because Jupiter, it is, uh, see, it is not only the, uh, it is retrograde, it's okay, but it is the uh, exaltation position of Jupiter. In any other sign also, Jupiter in the fourth house usually works well of, uh, you know, peace at home, uh, can come a little delayed but it will happen uh, about marriage, about you know going along with people, having a nice heart, contentment. 
in little bit in a later uh, phase of life but it is a good placement actually not bad um, obviously understand that retrogression will have its own effect it will not give you in a speed that a direct jupiter will bless uh, as fast because the nature of the person is also like that so please listen to the video of uh, the beginning of the video i have explained how jupiter retrograde uh, the thinking process of the person that itself creates some kind of issues with the person so fifth house jupiter the intelligence part of it they slowly slowly will resort to learning initially they may not be that much interested they may have different kind of intelligence their um, their hobbies i mean their uh, creativity is a little different but over a time it is a good placement for uh, you know having uh, knowledge and that knowledge flow especially if it is in fiery sign because it is a dharma trikon and watery sign also then the placement is good actually it gives a uh, kids can happen a little late some peculiar peculiarity about love affairs and kids can happen but nonetheless it's not a bad position so i i i, I don't find it is very bad it is uh, it is a good thing and with the age it uh, matures more actually this planet Sixth house Jupiter. Uh, you uh, the thing is that uh, to get something out of this Jupiter, unless it is in a very good sign of Pisces, Cancer, uh, to get a, something out of it is very difficult in the sixth house. The daily routine can be quite troublesome. You may be used in the workplace. You may have to change places, uh, workplace again and again. You may have difficulty with your co-workers. You know, arranging with the situation around you. These things can happen with. The sixth Jupiter. Though this Jupiter now it very much sixth Jupiter is very very much dependent on the sign. If it is in watery sign, then it is seeing very good areas. Your second house and tenth house and twelfth house. So second house, if it is in any of the watery sign, the other two is also becoming watery sign. So it is good for the Jupiter. Now, if it is an earthy sign, the uh, yeah, it can amass wealth, but it'll take time. It'll take time. It'll it can give you a regular thing in job, but that also will come if uh, Saturn is well placed or not retrograde, then better. But otherwise, again, it gi it'll give changing and shifting of the job environment or the co-workers. These things um, not a very good placement. Um, uh, but uh, it will have its own challenges, no doubt. Uh, only in certain good signs, it can be benefited in a much better way. Can have some issues with the health also. Some, um, you know, diseases which are a little, uh, you know, um, which uh, which becomes a little over the time it uh, it keeps on bogging you that kind of diseases uh, can happen with this sixth house jupiter and loan this person should be very careful about taking loans because jupiter retrograde can give a very high optimistic uh, feeling rahu and jupiter in the sixth house about loans they can suddenly take huge loans and then run into debts that is also characteristics of sixth jupiter the uh, there's something odd about the relationship of the house like uncle aunts can be there uh, if you have a Jupiter retrograde in the sixth house. So that is there. Seventh house Jupiter is Dikshunya. That is the biggest problem. It is Digbala in the first house. Seventh house Jupiter, if it is a normal Jupiter, uh, wife will be or uh, the partner will be good if it is a retrograde jupiter uh, they are caught in a you know um, hard and rock, um, uh, rock and a hard place like what to do what not to do what to expect whether to marry whether not to marry if the marriage is there then there will be checklist about them because this is becoming libra jupiter See, Libra, uh, Jupiter is not bad for marriage, but the checklist sometimes becomes too long because Jupiter is expansive. That is the problem. If you are having that kind of an arrangement, if you have a Libra, Jupiter, retrograde or 7th house Jupiter, understand that um, you are thinking something which is too expansive and cannot be met at the physical level. You have to understand that and come into terms with it. Once you come in terms with it, the, mat the matter will be solved. Because see, you cannot have it all. Uh, 
and these people they feel sometimes so optimistic they keep on uh, you know jumping from a little bit from this relationship to that not like rahu but they do that i mean knowingly unknowingly they feel that i need even more than what i am getting at this point of time which is the over expansiveness of jupiter which is a rebellious retrograde jupiter which is the unsatisfied retrograde jupiter direct jupiter is not like that in the 7th house very different direct and retrograde jupiter in libra is very very different on the 7th house so uh, this is also a very critical position about jupiter one must know where to go and where to cut out the checklist because marriage is or any kind of partnership uh, is done that's why saturn gets exalted over there accepting the uh, you know the the limitations of the partner so that's the reason uh, you 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 have to think that if you are not getting married with it or having married life problem with jupiter retrograde then some problem is there within you that you are unable to come in terms with eighth house jupiter Jupiter retrograde. Um, um, it is a. It's a. See, it's a position. If you run a dasha of Jupiter retrograde in the eighth house or normal also, it is quite a transformative dasha because Jupiter is a very slow planet, uh, not like Saturn, but still it takes thirteen months nearly to transit one um, sign. It will make you realize lot of things, lot of under uh, underlining things which maybe you were not. Um, you are neglecting it will give you realizations it will give you property wise it can be good uh, wealth wise it can be good but it is quite a transformative uh, 100% some kind of transformation with in laws with life after marriage will give you and that you will uh, come to learn the higher values of life it is pain, it's difficult it's it's it, it's better as it goes uh, more and more towards um, after 40 36 like that you understand and you accept and you change but before that uh, you know retrograde jupiter is also that kind of a thing they don't want to exactly go with the change it says some kind of rigidness in that that 8th house is a very transformative house and jupiter is a big planet and transforms a lot of things if you have a mahadasha antardasha also if you have you must have felt that in the 8th house money wise it is uh, good it will give you some stable income in the 8th house uh, in front for the partner from the partner also 9th house jupiter retrograde is again that uh, the first they'll question all the things about dharma about guru about uh, about the religious scriptures the text they don't they don't want to just you know go by it and that is that creates a rebellious uh, uh, heart inside automatically and when they come in terms with it, understanding that this is the bigger picture that i'm seeing and everything i cannot question um, i have seen people with having Uh, retrograde Jupiter in the third and the ninth house because in third also they are expecting the ninth. They question even the greater texts like Rama and Mahabharata. The question they question uh, Ram, Ram, uh, Sri Ram as a character. Uh, like what, what, uh, what is the greatness? I have seen that kind of people. Then they realize no, it's about the higher good that he was thinking, and so certain steps in life he had to take regarding his wife or family, which is not understood at the first. Uh, a glimpse of it so a little difficult uh, the arrangement with the father in the beginning of life can be a little up and up and down uh, later it can settle down well if that person goes into the process of learning traveling can also be a media of learning very much in the 9th house retrograde 10th house jupiter uh, is like uh, see people uh, over here whether you have any other sign but otherwise it's a debilitation position of jupiter people can come and give you good comments or uh, see you are you may be helpful wherever you're working but uh, the other people you are giving service but none is of much help to you that is the debility of this planet because you are not being blessed in the way maybe you are of help to even in six jupiter also you are giving help you are creating a better uh, professional uh, surrounding you but maybe you are uh, not being blessed or not getting that kind of a luck which is generated and you can feel um, 
and sometimes you are unable to you know put across the word that you want to do because here it's a very rough house and Jupiter is a nice and uh, planet here putting forward own ideas but retrogression is still there will be some kind of a reformation will happen in the 10th house but it's quite um, tumultuous in that way because uh, don't think that Jupiter is uh, yeah it is a uh, very sattvic planet Saturn creates a lot of other things but Jupiter also gives slow 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 death of many things and death decay and then uh, regenerating it and making you understand that this is how you should work because it is uh, after all the it's a rebellious guru now the retrograde Jupiter 11th house Jupiter retrograde will I don't think it will serve very high for monetary too much high expectations desires or gains because the guru is not about exactly a lofty idea of money and all yes these people can work in banks they can love to accumulate money they can have profits but organizations and friendships and circles can be more but um, regarding lot of desire fulfillment that a Rahu can give or a Saturn can give an organization or other things I don't think Jupiter in the 11th house that if you have a Mahadasha you'll be able to feel it uh, it it will it is not bad but maybe the kind of desires you had it was not meted out by this planet in the 11th house because uh, 11th house is a house of Rahu uh, that one must understand Aquarius Saturn Rahu this is a malefics do very well benefits also do well not that they don't but because it's a retrograde Jupiter you have more to ask from maybe the the planet with a Satik planet will not be able to give and something strange with the elder siblings can be there or only you are the sibling you have nobody else uh, something like that can happen in the 11th house of Jupiter 12th house Jupiter is a good arrangement it um, gives you the insight though retrograde slowly slowly it will give you the insight through different uh, uh, through different incidents it will give you the insight and you will go towards spirituality certain events will happen in your uh, 12th year 24th year 36th year 48th year of your life and it will open through Jupiter now Jupiter can be your father, your guru, your uh, whatever Jupiter, uh, the houses that represents in your horoscope. Through that house, it will give you an experience of uh, some change, some kind of expenditure, loss, salvation, uh, epiphany, whatever it will give you and your life henceforth will because see any consciousness in a spiritual uh, thing does not uh, it can happen if the soul is that mature it can ca ha happen in a flip also but it takes time 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 and little bit little bit little bit it puts you forward the consciousness awakening process so uh, uh, that person will do genuine philanthropy they will do they will uh, they will understand the need for it the use for it and they will do it by themselves so uh, this is a good arrangement actually it uh, first these people will be quite different but incidents will happen that will push them towards this higher learning and then they will feel quite satisfied satisfied in their life when the higher learning the higher process will dawn in them uh, Jupiter seeing from the point of view of Jupiter it's a good arrangement actually making you learn the spiritual journey ahead that everyone has to move towards in different lifetimes so this is what I had to say about Jupiter retrograde uh, hope I have put in some ideas uh, please give uh, comments of how you feel and please go through the initial portion of the video also because that is how, that is where I've explained the kind of things that Jupiter retrograde brings forth in our life okay till the, uh, so this was uh, this is the topic for this week next week let me see what I can bring forth till then take good care have a nice day